Hi and welcome to Family Search Web Indexing. Today I want to give you some quick tips on how you can speed up your data entry while indexing. So let's go through a few things that will help you become an advanced indexer. You'll see here that the project creator has set this to automatically have 40 blank records when you first start. Let's say that you don't want all 40 of those and so before you type anything in come up here and click the trash can or the delete icon and I want to say delete all blank entries and so now you'll see I only have one of one entries now I can come over here and I can actually count the number of entries that I have and let's say that I have 35 instead of 40 I can come here and click the add multiple entries I can type in 35 and since I don't haven't entered anything it doesn't matter where I insert these but I want to add 35 and plus the 1 gives me 36. If I make a mistake before I uh, type anything in, I can delete all blank again, return to one entry, and now I want to put in 34 because I really meant to have 35 total. Now I've got 35 blank entries. Now for some projects, uh, this happens to be blank up here, but let's uh, make up an example. Uh, for this, I want to use table entry. This is a great way to really do things in a much faster way. Now I can resize my table here if I would like to see more rows. And let's say that I have a reservation name and that reservation is the Big Pine Reservation. And that's going to be the same for every single name on this form. So I'm going to use this icon right here which will copy text from the selected field into all the following entries or records. So when I click this, you'll see that that copied this down to every single record, and I don't have to type that for anything. Same for these other fields. If I put in a certain value, sorry, and I want to copy that down, now a lot of these fields are the same, so if I go through here and now you can see how much has been typed for me and I didn't have to type any of that. So a lot of these things are exactly the same and this is a great way to speed up your data entry. Let's say that we come in here and we use um, uh, a surname of Wild Bird and I come to this uh, field here and I'd like to use the previous value. If I use Control D on Windows or Command D on a Mac, you'll see that when I press the shortcut key it will actually copy the value from the previous field. And so you'll see here that if I do this and I want to copy that, I press uh, Command D on the Mac, Control D on Windows, and it will copy that. So a very quick way to get some data entry done uh, quickly and easily. Let me also show you column mode. And this is really good, especially for registers where you have many rows and columns. I'm going to navigate to the beginning. And so I'm at the first field. and You can see I've already entered these, assuming this were the value at the top of the form and now I can go through to the next field and again I could put in the value for the first one use this icon here to copy down all the value into all fields and so as I go through I can continue entering now I want to show you what I like to do with this sort of thing is I'll actually line up the form uh, with these rows and I can increase the size to match. Let me play with this a little bit uh, to match the row size. And then I can simply go through and type these in really fast and just buzz down through one column at a time. And then when I'm done, I can move over to the next field. And then I can again line these up as best I can and then I can go down through this column really fast. So just a couple of ways to speed up your data entry. I hope this helps you out.